Hey there, and welcome to Top 10 Things. There are things that you think you should be able to do with your own body. But if you're like 99% of the people in this world, no matter how hard you try, you just can't quite manage to do it. Today we're looking at 10 simple tests to prove your uniqueness. Finding out if we're unique or not, is definitely something most of us wanted to know at some point in our lives. That's why we thought it would be nice to feature some of the tests that prove your uniqueness. Now this entire series is determined by you, the viewer. So if you want a shout out, make sure to comment your suggestion about what our next subject should be, and leave a like on the video. If we can break 1000 likes in this episode, I'll continue shouting people out. Anyway, with that being said, let's get started with the video. Number 10. Raising only one eyebrow. Apparently most of the humans can only raise both of their eyebrows in bewilderment while a special few, can raise just one. In fact, I know only one person in my life who can do this, my mother-in-law, who said that her ability just came to her during the pain of childbirth, and that this superpower was very useful in raising kids. Well, her and of course Leonard Nimoy aka Mr. Spock, Sean Connery, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and Stephen Colbert. Some people call this the eyebrow cock, and it is known as the universal sign of oh really? I mean, skepticism. The ability of raising eyebrows may be an evolutionary trait, baboons, mandrels and Cebus monkeys raise their eyebrows as a threat gesture. So if you can do this, congrats. But if you can't, it turns out that you can learn this skill. Here's the trick, according to WikiHow, 1. Start by keeping one eyebrow down with one hand and holding one up with the other. Keep practicing this in the mirror so you can detect the correct muscle movement to obtain one eyebrow up. 2. Once you're familiar with this and can do it quite well, try it without using your hands. 3. Practice this in the mirror until you get it just right. 4. Scare and thrill people with your new talent. Number 9. Wiggling your ears. Your cat can do it. And so can the hippo and Jeff Goldblum. But only few other people in the world can wiggle their ears. It turned out that in 2006, scientists determined exactly why most people couldn't wiggle their own ears, unlike other facial muscles, ear muscles have their own accessory nucleus, a control area for muscle function, in the brainstem, says Termulin, a researcher at Erasmus Mick a university medical center in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. But fear not, non-ear wiggling people. You can train yourself to do it. WikiHow explains, isolate your ear wiggling muscles. You may be able to wiggle your ears, but it won't be that impressive if you have to raise your eyebrows or look awfully surprised every time. You may not be able to move your ears without moving your scalp, but you should be able to learn to move them without moving your eyebrows, practice wiggling your ears without moving any other parts of your face. Did you do it? If you did, then you're rather unique yourself. Number 8. Strange Tongue Tricks. There are a few tricks that most people can't do. Just don't get a tongue cramp trying to do all these, okay? These are definitely special unique skills that can't be easily thought or learned. But if you can do any of them, then you're in the 1% of unique people. Number 7. The paralyzed finger trick. Okay, give this one a try, bend your middle finger like in this image and put your hand on the table. Then lift your thumb, index finger, and pinky. No problem, right? Now try the ring finger. Here's the reason why you can't, the tendons in your fingers are independent from one another apart from the ones in your middle and ring finger. These tendons are connected, so that when your middle finger is folded down you cannot move your ring finger. It feels like your ring finger is stuck. Number 6. Put your fist in your mouth. Well, the steps are easy enough. 1. Make a fist, and 2. Insert into mouth, but most people can't do it, except the few, all women it seems, who have a, small fists and b, big mouths. You could try though, and let us know how it went, but most likely it will be painful and will make you look pretty silly. 
Number 5. Sneeze with your eyes open. Nope, you can't sneeze with your eyes open. Why? Because when you sneeze, the sneeze center in the brain sends coordinated motor impulses along nerves controlling muscles of the abdomen, chest, diaphragm, neck, face, eyelids and various sphincters, as well as the mucous glands and blood vessels of the nose. All this happens automatically. You can't help it. Obviously a very select few people can manage to do this though. Are you one of them? Number 4. Touch your nose or chin with your tongue. Ever tried touching your nose or chin with your tongue? Many have and it's a lot harder than you'd think. It's thought that only 10% of the population can perform this act, which is known as Gorlin sign in the medical world. In some instances it can indicate connective tissue disorder, but if you can do it put it on all your resumes and dating profiles. You are one highly sought after human being. Gene Simmons of KISS had no trouble with this trick. Do you? Number 3. Lick your elbow. Your tongue and your elbow are tragic lovers who desperately want to be together, but can't because their disapproving parents, your mouth and arm, won't let them. It's just about impossible for most people to lick their elbows. Try it now. Make sure you're alone, though, or you may be committed. Apparently there are techniques that can be learned to get around this, but most require you to have been blessed with a particularly short upper arm or an abnormally long tongue. Number 2. Gleeking. Gleeking is the hottest new trend. All the kids are doing it. It's better than twerking and planking, even better than the moonwalk. Gleeking is the term for when you project saliva from the submandibular gland after compressing it with your tongue. This means you stimulate the saliva glands under your tongue to spit a concentrated jet of saliva. Yes, like a camel. Number 1. Hypermobility. For this test see how far you can bend your pinky finger back. With your other hand bend your pinky finger back as far as it will go without hurting yourself. If the pinky bends back more than a 90 degree angle to your hand, it is a positive test. You want to do this on both hands to see the outcome. Give yourself a point for each pinky you can bend back beyond 90 degrees. You should also check if you can touch your forearm with your thumb. For this test you first turn your palm up. Then you bend your wrist so your fingers are pointing up. Then, with your other hand, see if you can pull your thumb down to touch the front of your wrist. You want to try this on both sides. Lastly. If you can do this with your fingers, I believe there's no need for any other test. You're clearly more unique than 90% of the population. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below, and subscribe to see when we post a video. Let us know what top 5 or top 10 video you would like us to do next, and we might feature your request in one of our next videos. With that said, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video.